Hello everyone. Anthos is Google's application modernization platform for hybrid and multi-cloud. In this talk, we will talk about how Anthos is solving some of the common industry problems. My name is Srinivas Makam. I'm an application modernization specialist within the Google Cloud team. Hey, I'm Raju Pillai. I'm also a customer engineer in application modernization space. Hi, Srini, how are you? Hey, doing good, Raju. How are you? Nice to see you. Uh, I'm, I'm good, uh, Srini, thank you. Um, so this pandemic has affected all of us. Uh, what are some of the businesses doing to modernize application in the space? Uh, can you share some insights and trends? Yeah, uh, sure, Raju. Uh, see, in the current post-COVID world, right, organizations want to focus on growing both their top line and bottom line. From a top line perspective, companies want to get their products and solutions faster to the market using you know, modern application frameworks. From a bottom line perspective, companies want to be more efficient by using modern cloud native and DevOps practices. Following are two important trends that we see from the Gartner report on application modernization. Customers are looking to modernize their applications you know, before moving to the cloud. And majority of the customers are using containers as their medium of deployment. Hybrid and multi-cloud is getting increasingly adopted and customers adopt this model for different reasons, you know, including compliance, innovation, you know, cost optimization, and high availability. So Raju, right, I hear that you know, Anthos plays a very important role in application modernization. I'm curious to understand the background of Anthos and how Google is approaching the hybrid and multi-cloud space. Sure, Srini. Um, containers became a promising technology a few years back, but it alone could not have solved all the problems without a robust orchestration engine. And Google has been orchestrating containers uh, at planet scale internally for many, many years using an internal tool called Borg. And inspired from Borg, uh, Kubernetes was born within Google, and then later on we open sourced it to the community. Uh, also to sort of not end up becoming our own tech island. Uh, but we use containers to implement microservices architecture, which offers great independence to deploy, scale, uh, upgrade, and patch services. And Kubernetes soon became popular. But real life customer scenarios were much more complex than just orchestrating containers. And people started to solve those uh, problems by building solutions around Kubernetes. For example, an infrastructure management layer to provision compute storage and network, uh, a, a platform layer to uh, you know, manage the life cycle of those containers. And when these containers needed to talk to each other, in a secure way, uh, preserving the telemetry information for observability, then uh, we needed a service management tool for that. We also needed to enforce IT policies and configurations in a consistent manner across all the systems, uh, even before we deploy our applications alongside uh, the, the caches and the queues and the databases. Now, this is one application in a single cluster on, on a single cloud. Now, imagine a multi-tenant environment with multiple clouds or even make it more complex by you know, bringing an on-premise or a hybrid environment, uh, things can soon become very complex. Uh, and, and that's why we sort of you know, build Anthos. And Anthos was built to solve these real customer problems. You know, it is a managed application platform built on open source technologies like Kubernetes, Istio, Tekton, and um, Knative for enterprises that want to modernize faster as well as you know, at the same time have improved operational efficiencies with greater consistency across a fleet of uh, Kubernetes clusters uh, running um, you know, across multiple cloud or, or hybrid. So Srini, uh, I know that you've been working very closely with some of these retail customers. What are their current challenges and how does Anthos really help them solve it? Yeah, sure, Raju. Uh, see, post-COVID right, has brought a lot of change to the retail industry. Uh, see, there are three big trends we see, right? First is uh, a channel shift from physical to you know, online. And in some cases, you know, it's a hybrid model. For example, you know, customers can order online and pick up their items on the curbside. You know, customers are looking for you know, newer shopping experiences, right? Both online and offline. An example, let's say, is an advanced recommendation engine based on an individual's taste. And retail also has a huge competitive pricing pressure. And companies are trying modern technologies to improve their operating margin. So I want to kind of highlight you know, three use cases in the retail. First thing I wanted to kind of talk about is a cloud bursting use case. So, you know, for a lot of retail companies, you know, 60 to 70 percent of their entire sales happen during a two to three week sales period. And it's very important for them to handle this traffic spike in an efficient manner. You know, Anthos hybrid cloud solution allows retailers 
to use cloud to handle the traffic burst you know without expanding their on prem infrastructure retail companies want to develop applications using modern microservice patterns so that they can be agile in both their development as well as operations you know anthos provides cloud native tools to develop and operate microservice based applications companies are looking to focus on value added services to their end customers you know rather than investing on infrastructure creation and maintenance this is where serverless solutions like cloud run come to play where developers can deploy their applications you know using a single click approach i will little bit you know deep dive on the cloud bursting use case right see uh, let's say we have a hybrid environment uh, with on prem as a primary and cloud as a secondary and this can be switched and there is a global load balancer you know balancing the traffic uh, when there is a traffic spike some of the user traffic gets automatically moved to google cloud and we can control this distribution using the google global load balancer you know once the traffic spike reduces you know we turn off the resources provisioned in google cloud the way that anthos is adding value here is by providing a single pane of glass control management and data plane with a dynamic service level observability this is really good shrini um, uh, we see a lot of startups in india literally popping up like mushrooms uh, can anthos help those born in the cloud companies too yes yes raju Uh, actually this is a very you know active space in india right see if you look at it in 2020 you know we saw 12 unicorns born out of india in 2021 you know we are already have you know 10 unicorns till now right see the top 3 trends you know we see from digital natives or the need to have a faster time to market you know focus on reducing the operational complexity and the use of you know open source tools and frameworks for their it landscape so if you look at the use cases in the digital native space Uh, earlier we talked about the trend with open source platforms and digital native right google as a legacy for creating and contributing to open source projects as well as creating managed open source products see example is you know gke for kubernetes you know anthos service mesh for istio you know cloud run for serverless right and digital natives typically uh, start having a kubernetes cluster sprawl where you know where they have you no know, tens of clusters to manage anthos provides a simplified platform to manage configuration monitoring and security across multiple kubernetes clusters and companies are looking for you know certified application marketplace you know since all the needs cannot be satisfied from a single vendor and anthos provides a central marketplace for third party applications you know like kafka elastic search with billing being centrally managed so let's talk about this multi cluster use case in a little bit more detail right See, when we have multiple Kubernetes clusters spread across different environments, you know we need to have a common way to manage these clusters. In this example, we show a central load balancing, a policy, and service management. We have a common policy repository to manage policies that gets pushed across all the clusters, you know, using a GitOps model. For handling traffic north south, we have a global load balancer managing this traffic. For east west service to service communication. we have anthos service mesh providing traffic management telemetry and security so rajiv right uh, i wonder if anthos is also applicable to i'd like, say traditional industries right like bfsi and manufacturing yeah absolutely shrini uh, let me talk about bfsi so in this digital age customer satisfaction and their retention loyalty is a big priority now one of the surveys showed recently that one in every 3 millennials would switch their banks within 90 days if they don't get a frictionless innovative banking services often an omni channel um, like let be uh, mobile desktop chatbot or point, point of sale so this has pushed the need of uh, api modernization and api standardization on the other hand the banks and the fsis are increasingly concerned about the security for both development and operations they often work in a highly regulated and uh, you know sometimes air gap environments Uh, specifically in india there is a cons- concerted effort between npci rbi as well as the private and nationalized banks to revolutionize the digital payments which will lead us into a cashless economy but the banks no longer have this entire uh, value chain and that's where the fintechs ca- come in with their innovative business model speed and agility and they are the new disruptors and i want to tell you how anthos can be a perfect solution and a win win for both these fintechs as well as bank let's take an example of upi Fintech can create differentiated UPI mobile app backends which run on containers on top of 
and those clusters. It offers improved CI/CD, which we can implement DevSecOps in the overall software supply chain. Similarly, the banks can modernize existing uh, Java and .NET application with Anthos um, and expose those banking services such as accounts, payments, fund transfer, and remittance using the APG hybrid, uh, which is our on-premise uh, API management solution. Now, both parties can uh, split revenue and monetize uh, by creating products, packages, and subscriptions on those APIs. In fact, the developers don't need to really worry about this complex integration. They can just work on uh, the API layer to, to build di rich digital experiences, which are differentiated. Now, there are also strict uh, regulatory uh, requirements and penalties levied by RBI on failed transaction. And the service meshes observability feature can quickly help us uh, deploy something called uh, SLOs or service level objectives that complies with the SLAs. It can also uh, help us do end-to-end -end encryption out of the box, which is also a PCI requirement. Well. Wow. It looks like BFSI is a great fit for Anthos. Can you also please tell Anthos's relevance to the manufacturing industry? Yeah, sure, uh, Shini. Uh, traditional enterprises, especially manufacturing, there is an increased interest to embrace industry 4.0 standards. Now, globally, around 70% of industrial companies are making it a top strategic priority because of automation in a labor cost saving of 80% or less and 30 to 40% saving in the capex. Now, manufacturers also faced with uh, demand and supply chain issues, especially you know, in this pandemic and resulting lockdowns. Geographical expansions and rollout plans of new products are impacted. Traditionally, uh, they already always had a poor data center utilizations, uh, technology withdrawals, end of life for licensed products such as Windows 2008. They were always a challenge. Now, Anthos can help accelerate this industry for auto uh, adoption with real-time hybrid AI and visual inspection to automatically detect uh, defective products on the production lines. We have customers uh, doing predictive maintenance via telematic solutions uh, for connected cars, where the data ingestion uh, frameworks runs on a scalable uh, cloud native architecture on top of Anthos. Uh, we have supply chain and inventory management systems, which are generally very complex, uh, you know, legacy ERP application. And uh, Anthos can help modernize that. In fact, I would like to introduce you to a tool called Migrate for Anthos. Uh, for these traditional enterprises who don't want to rewrite their application and don't want to also do a lift and shift, they can find a middle ground here. Uh, Migrate for Anthos can convert VM-based application into container apps that can automatically run on Kubernetes. And with stateful uh, rollback, boot over WAN, intelligent streaming and caching technologies, the migration can be really uh, auto highly automated and efficient. And once they are on the cloud, they can obviously leverage the cloud's elasticity and also benefit from a higher density for utilization and fix operational issues around the logging, monitoring, and observability. Hey, Srini, uh, now that we have seen all the trends, challenges, use cases, uh, uh, can you summarize uh, the Anthos architecture and the components and also help our viewers know how they can get started with Anthos? Yes, I'll be glad to, Raju. Uh, so what I want to do is kind of provide a thousand feet view of the Anthos architecture. Anthos is a software platform that works on any infrastructure, including on-prem and public cloud. The infrastructure layer provides managed Kubernetes networking and the storage layers. Application layer provides service management, CI, CD, and developer tools. The operations layer provides central security policies and a single pane of glass monitoring and logging. There are many ways to get started with Anthos. So you can try Anthos on your own as a free trial, we can also do an application assessment and suggest ways to modernize your applications. So thanks for your time. We really hope that you will take the Anthos journey with us. Thank you. Thank you.